Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 58 of Let's Play Pokemon Conquest, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, so what I'm thinking is, when it comes to Avia, I probably won't need a large force. I'll need someone to deal with fighting types, or of course, be a ghost and a psychic type. I don't really have much to deal with dark types on their own. Because I don't have a fighting type of my own, but I think Gabite would be a good choice. Let's think about this for a moment. We still need more variety. And I think if we can start conquering more kingdoms, we can get that. So I think Lapras is a given. So are you. And you. And you. That's it. We'll need four guys. Sandal is part dark, but it uses a ground move anyway. So we're good there. We're almost halfway through the first year, though, so... We can't afford to slack off. Good thing I didn't say we can't afford to slack off. Because slack off and slacking the whole lineup, not in this game! Start bringing everybody over. It's always the best choice. Weirdly enough, Haunter has to be the one left behind, even though it has Levitate. I think that's sad. That dude, that... Ur Ruckus... Rek'Sai? Rek'Sai? Dude almost sounds like a creature from Lord of the Rings. We fought him before in Volora. What's his name? Urakusai. Okay, there we go. Let me start moving you guys in position. That's it. That bridge can't go out as long as I'm on it. That'd be sad if it could. Your Pokemon would just fall off. Never to be seen again. Ooh, it went that way. I think it went that way, try to hit my Haunter from behind. As if I wouldn't be aware. Then it really does not give me much credit. As much as I love to get Mitsuhide's Legendary, as well as get him to rank 2, you can't do that till you finish his story anyway. I think that's the reason why I wanted to do his campaign now, so I can make him able. Let's see you go for it now. I double dog dare ya. And you fell for it. Good thing everybody's in range. Just in case we don't take them all out in one turn. Let me set them up for a disaster. But I think Ice Beam might be able to beat both of them. It will! Can you be confused while you're fainted? You might be confused as to why you fainted. <laughs> Bridge out. We gotta wait a while for Scraggy to appear. Let me be ready for ya. You know, just use possibly the worst Pokemon to use against the Dark type. What can go wrong there? It's not gonna reach. Wow. It'll still hurt, so I guess there's no reason for me not to do it. You can go back. 
you're not gonna do much anyway. Oh, well, you just got all your HP back. Good for you. Too bad you're still set up for, uh, your demise. I'm gonna pull you back. I want Mitsuhide to do this. Every little bit of percentage I need him to get. If he's gonna be my MVP, every opportunity to build him up, I gotta take. Getting finishing blows tends to do that. There we go. We're uh, stretching in there a little bit. Nobunaga now has less kingdoms. How many does he have left? Three there. Five. Oh, he doesn't have much left. I think it's like one, t one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven? Only seven? Wow. Any of these I did not use. It's not a lot of variety. Onyx would have a field day with pretty much all of them. Bring two guys in here to start taking these guys out, but I don't think that'd be a wise idea. Spectra can pretty much invade from three, either one of three. What should I do here? Could recruit another warrior. But I don't want to leave one kingdom completely unprotected. So I'm thinking... Ooh, this could be a stalemate for a while. I think we should go for it anyway. So at least we have a Sneasel. Yeah, let's do that. Or oh, Harmony Flute. That'd be great for somebody else. I don't think Greed's gonna help us at all. Where can we go where we can really get the pounce on that, uh, Larvesta? Here? Oh, that's a one-shotter! If that doesn't work, we'll make you flinch. Please give me a good dice roll. It did! Nice! Now the rest of it is just taking out his team. What's your ability? Empathy. Probably won't need it. Alright, yours is greed. I don't think that's gonna help me that much either. You go ahead and do that. I I can't seem to get hit. Not that I'm complaining. Oh now I can. Alright. Pretty sure Sneasel can just one-shot every Pokemon it hits right now in this fight. Yeah, finish it off. Boom. And we got a new guy. Hmm. This is interesting. Because I can choose either a fire type or an electric type here. Because I don't have his perfect Pokemon. I can actually just choose which one I want. Good. We needed that energy boost. Get 
just spend a lot of money? I think he did. He still didn't even bother to fight back. I don't know why. I would like if they tried to push back on him. Maybe they just don't think they can beat him. Oh, he's back in Spectra. I don't like that. Even if I beat him now, it's not going to make a difference. Even though I would have Spectra. Thing is, I would just get myself probably annihilated. Even if I did, like, throw my full force of Ice types at him. Wait, Lapras actually have Muscles Hydreigon. Should I actually go for this? If I do, let me give you Flappy instead. I think I want to bring you along. Don't have any advantages to attacking anyone else, for the most part. Which is sad. I think a couple ice types would totally annihilate uh, at least half its force. Yeah, the Sandal, too, actually. So I think we can pretty much bring the whole force from here. Do I want to bring a Psychic type? Probably not. Gracie, I can probably stay behind. Yeah, we're gonna go to battle. We're gonna take Nobunaga on. I'm thinking you should also bring you. Reinforcements, I'll bring... Should I bring this guy? Definitely thinking this guy. Considering this guy. And you know what? Screw it. We'll bring this guy. This will be an interesting battle. We do have muscle him, though, which is good. Oh, this should be fun. We're actually going to have to take on a Hydreigon. That could be a war of attrition right there. It's finally time for me to challenge the great man in battle. Are you ready, Lapras? We must march forth. Our enemy is in Spectra. Huh. Very well, Mitsuhide. It is time to show Nobunaga what you are capable of. Oh, we got to max energy. Too bad he doesn't recover his HP automatically. There's a lot of considerable options, but I would rather have Lapras too. And wherever he's not, Cubchu will have to do. Remember, Hydragon has Dragon Pulse. Dragon Rage may not seem like an issue to anyone except Cub Chew and Flaffy. So we'll have to think about that carefully. We'll move his Discharge. So if you get surrounded, I know what to do. Let's see what you got. Hina might be a pain in the ass, though. Kai could do some damage. So let's think about this carefully. Look how they're lined up. Too bad Lapras is not in position to get all three. That would have been so good. I had a little bit more range. We have impact. You can't do much against this whole lineup. In fact, I might have to move you. Can you hit? You can! 316? 
Lapras316 says, I just ice beamed your ass. <laughs> Even though I hit you in the face. So my little saying was an absolute lie. <laughs> can you get across those statues? You can. Yeah, Hunter's gonna have to move. If we go over here... Cubchoo can't really move much at all. Maybe over here is fine. Gotta be careful where I move Gabba as well. This Dragon Pulse can really destroy him. Oh, you're gonna hit Lapras, aren't you? Yep. I have a move that guarantees accuracy as well. Suck on that. Come on, move your Dratini over. Line it up exactly the way I want. Oh, you did. You thought if you can just, like, lower my accuracy that I wouldn't take a chance on it. Clearly, you underestimate my potential. And I think that makes me sad. I wanted you to believe in me. And now you're gonna pay the price for it. Eh, accuracy is still pretty good. Like, it's not low. But I can't take that risk. There. We pretty much eliminated all the ground types, I think? We did. Should I go for this move? I mean, there's no reason not to. Let's do it. Even if Cub Chew gets destroyed, I still have options. Oh, I can move Gabbit over here. So I didn't even need to use Cub Chew's uh, attack. Now, I don't think Nobunaga can Dragon Pulse through a statue. You know what? I'll have to accept that casualty. Oh, this could be a big casualty, too. It was! Damn! It missed! Nice! Okay, we got a bit lucky there. Hmm. Can I get Lapras to hit the uh, Hydragon? Thankfully, that present was in the way. Because if that statue moved over there, I might have less of a chance. I mean, I got to. I can't afford to let that Hydragon go buck wild. I didn't beat it? Wow. Is it seriously going to be this guy that beats the... Beats the Hydragon? It has to. I got a crit for it, too. Nice. So really, all that's left is uh, Kai's Pokemon. I can easily beat Pantsir. Wasted arrows. Oh, my Haunter's frozen. Missed. Did that try to freeze me? Okay, I think um, when it missed Haunter, it tried to poison, and I'm part poison. And it missed Lapras because it tried to freeze, and I'm already ice. So at least it narrows down like a 
what attacks they were. Pretty sure electric types can still get paralyzed, so I gotta keep that in mind. That's not gonna do it? Okay. Just... Just throw it at her. No. You only have that. Start bringing everybody close. But don't line them up so that she can hit multiples at once. Unless it's the low set of damage. Hold on. Oh, that. Okay. It'll have to do. It only does super effective damage to anybody that's in the middle. So as long as I keep that in mind, I don't have to worry. Alright, that pants here is going down. You know what? Just get that present. Okay, we actually scared Nobunaga off temporarily. They're all going to Yaksha. That's good. The more territory I take from him, the more likely he's going to end up losing warriors. He might even have to give up a warlord if he's got too many of them. Let's move everybody out of next storm for now and put them in Avia. It will be in my best interest to do that. Just to keep us safe. Don't need Panagiri except for that guy. We should try to recruit a warrior. I think this is a good lineup to use. Two flying types? Yeah. Whoa! That was a weird noise. Kitsuno. You have Daramaka. One, two, three. Will ya? And that's it! I was kinda glad you'd do that! Set yourself up for failure. first. I like that hat on her. It's so adorable. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. That's the meal ticket. Make yourself useful as well. Now Zubat. How much damage am I going to do with Astonish? You know, maybe actually go over there. 14. No sense using the ability now. Oh, Inner Focus prevents confusion. Oh, you just broke out of confusion on turn one? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, that's even worse! But you can't attack because of the uh, positioning. He's gonna miss Daramaka because he's already set up for it. However, I can still do a nice bit of damage. It's a nice 
Please crit. You know, we don't have to wait for future sight. Let's just do this now. That's left is the Zubat. I'm feeling good about myself right now. We got ourselves another warrior we can utilize. We have Akshu. Yeah, 70%. Better off using Akshu instead of Joltik. Everybody's finished? Good. It's July month now. Still not attacking the isolated kingdoms. Ooh, Yaksha would be ripe for the picking if I can just get over there. What does kingdoms look like in total? Six there, six there, six there, six there, six there, and six there. Oh, so we take another kingdom? He has to give up some. That could be a perfect opportunity. Alright, so it's July year one now. We got through like six months. Only 30 more to go to take what? Maybe six kingdoms? Is it six? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, it is six. So I keep thinking this landmass is just all the same as this one, but it's not. Yeah, we only got six kingdoms. So if we're lucky, we can finish this before year two. And that's if we don't build up. But we're going to have to build up. If he's not taking any of these. Alright, so in the next episode... Ooh, should I consider taking these kingdoms? Because if I can keep them away from the others, or I take them myself, I have a nice cache of warriors and warlords to get for myself. So maybe my best interest to go after... Terrera or Illusio. I got some options here. So in the next part, I'll think about what those options are and follow through with them. Goodbye, everyone.